Hi guys, welcome to day two of our guest week here on HGTV Handmade. Today we're talking about a much requested topic, which is DIY and crafting fails. You guys know that nothing ever goes quite exactly to plan. So today we're here to talk about when it was just all a disaster. I have with me Meg, as well as Robin Corinne from Threadbanger. Oh, hey. Hi guys. Hey. hey. So Meg, do you want to start it off? What is your worst craft fail? Worst craft fail. Um, <laughs> this is going to involve Corinne. It was uh, an early Decor It Yourself episode, and we had grandiose plans for a mid-century modern aluminum wall sculpture. It was going to be fantastic. So we figured, OK, we'll use um, beer cans for the like the, the, the decor part, and then we'll solder together a grid to put these cans on. OK, so we have to learn how to solder. Soldering took <laughs> days to learn. <laughs> so by the time we actually learned how to solder, we didn't really have much time to like look and see how the cans would look. So once we cut them and put them up, they looked horrendous. <laughs> horrendous. And we didn't, we, I mean, but at that point we had to edit it together and put yeah. it up. So you have to make it work. Uh -huh. So we just were like, well, yep. let's just make it work. We put it up there and uh, it became more of a how to solder <laughs> tutorial. But it was kind of more of how to not solder. How to not <laughs> solder. Yeah. How to not make a mid-century uh -huh. modern wall sculpture. So, oh, yeah. Oh. I mean, we needed to empty the beer can yeah, somehow. We Somebody you know. had to. So, Rob, I know that you kind of have an entire series on YouTube all about craft fails. Do you want to tell us about that? Yeah, I mean, I feel like you, you when you're making videos for YouTube or whatever medium, like you, you really want to like make it work because obviously that's why people are clicking on the video. Like they want to learn something, they want to take something away. Yeah. Um, but there's so many times, obviously, when it just goes wrong and you're on a deadline and you have to make it happen. And we Rob really stresses out. Too. <laughs> like really. I found this really um, this really great pin and like a year ago and it was like how to soften your t-shirt and it was like using salt and you brine it and you soak it and I have all these like old concert t-shirts and I'm like wow that'd be really cool to like you know Super get that cool feel and so we did it and the episode and it just didn't work right like, it was just it was like it was a complete lie. I think you like, did it like 10 times too. I did it so many times I was like it's gonna happen it's gonna happen and like day after day after day and then it finally came down to it and I was like this just doesn't work do I, do I and the video needed work? to happen right uh, and so Corinne was like all right well just Admit that it didn't work, and that's you know, yeah. show everybody else that these that this is just a blatant lie on the internet. So every week, I now have a show which is called Man vs. Pin, which is kind of like the MythBusters, um, and I fail every week for yeah. the most part. <laughs> it's really uh, funny. just trying to like disprove that you know all the internet isn't true. So every day is a is a fail for me. <laughs> um, every day is a fail. You fail in a blaze of glory. So you know. <laughs> Well, I kind of have one of my own, maybe not a fail, but definitely a blooper. Oh, just a bit. <laughs> so I was redecorating my old apartment and I was filming the whole thing. It was beautiful. I made all these different craft projects as a part of it. And then when I was putting the entire thing together, I was standing on my couch, putting stuff on the shelves and like arranging everything on the wall. And then my clock just... I guess the tack just came loose. It just <laughs> fell straight down, knocked over these bottles that I had already put water in for the flowers, like just knocked everything over. And I was like, I was so close to being done. And now everything is just a mess on the floor. Like the glass broke from the clock front. So there's also broken glass everywhere. And it was it was just a mess. But I cleaned it up and I got it done. Did so. you get it on and camera? And it was on camera. Yeah, and I got but, it on no. camera. Hey, that's all that matters. That's all there is. And actually I kind of like the clock better without the glass. So it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. The comedic element. It's like, it's so, it's so serious and everything's so perfect. And then that little bit of funny in there yeah, exactly. is good. I, I spent all this time making this beautiful Maleficent headpiece. Um, I but I wanted that. to do it Renaissance style because we were going to the Renaissance fair. And of course, I like didn't spend a very good amount of time like clipping, like making the clips to like actually hold it to my head. So after five hours at the Renaissance Fair, it broke off. So I'm just trying to balance it on my head. And it's the final parade where the queen is being carried, right? And we had just met the queen. We had tea with the queen. Yeah, we're tight with the queen. And so we're like, BFF. Yeah. And I like go to do my Maleficent like bow, and the thing comes tumbling down. Wow. My goblet spills everywhere, oh, no. and she's like, oh, 
It was so funny. <laughs> so Corinne, I think we have one more fail that you want to share, and I think it's kind of the worst one of all. Would you say that's right? Yeah, I would say. I mean, it was kind of like a fail and then kind of a win. Yeah. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah. So there's a happy ending. Yeah. Oh, that's it was good. a tough win. But the process really <laughs> was a fail the whole time. So I made my own wedding dress, which I don't recommend anyone doing ever, <laughs> by the way, because it's super stressful. Those are one of those things that you just you buy a wedding dress. But um, mad props. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really wanted this like mermaid silhouette because those were really popular. They're still pretty popular. But I like to make my own patterns and I just could not get the pattern right. I tried probably 15 times to make a mermaid silhouette. I wasted so much muslin <laughs> trying to get it right. So I ended up changing the entire design of my dress like the week before the wedding. Um, the most stressful yeah, like, yeah, moments exactly. you know, before yeah. the I'm wedding. Sewing, I was like up all night sewing for that whole week. Um, <laughs> it was craziness. And we were leaving to go. Like We had got married in North Carolina and we live in California. So we were getting ready, like we're leaving the house and I'm still sewing buttons <laughs> on the back of the dress. Um, even when we were getting yeah. ready, like the ribbon that I wore, like oh, yeah. didn't have time to like seal the end of it. So that was fraying a yep. little bit. I still see it in pictures, yeah. like <laughs> one little string hanging. Um, so yeah, that was, it was very, very stressful. <laughs> but how did it turn out? It came out pretty it good. Out it, awesome. it was all right. It was absolutely gorgeous Thanks. on the day. You looked beautiful. No one would ever know, but now they do. Yeah. <laughs> they do. So these are all really great stories, but I think now we shall talk about what lessons have we learned along the way. Ooh, that's a big one. Um, I mean, I feel like the typical lesson that you they oh, don't give up. Yeah. You know, keep, give up. You know? <laughs> like if it's <laughs> if it's not working and it's just a complete waste of your time, just move on to the next project. <laughs> that's my advice. That's actually pretty good advice. <laughs> I, I would say you learn so much from your fails, so fail away. I mean, totally yeah. the opposite advice. But sometimes the best masterpieces come from a mistake you've made, so just keep trying. Totally. And then also it's like you can sometimes learn from a fail for a project that comes into mm -hmm. play later. And sometimes if you share those fails with other people, then other people have like a good friendly tip to help, you know, like... I was painting my closet and I accidentally painted my clothes and I was like, just word to the wise, make sure the doors are really closed and you know, so you can help yourself in the future and other people. So, so you know, and embrace your fails. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great advice. Yeah. And you know, keep, keep your fails. Maybe some ways down the lines, once you're a bit more skilled, you can go back and rework it later and not waste all of those materials. Totally. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Craft Fail episode of mm -hmm. our guest week. And thank you so much to Robin and Corinne for being here. Thanks for having us. Make sure you go check out their channel, Threadbanger, especially the Man vs. Pin series, which is amazing. I watch every episode. And stay tuned all week long for even more great videos with all of our special guests. Bye, guys. <laughs>